Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave with more reactions. With the next Tokyo Revengers, we're on to episode 7 after our little hiatus of being late. And I'm excited because this week we get to see the whole little Mobius thing that should turn into the big, you know, Tomon feud, inner feud, civil war, whatever it is. And yeah, it's just been a pretty good ride. After the first couple episodes of him, like, it focusing, I just felt like it was too much, right? Like, he's still kind of a little bitch, but... It's just not the focus of the episode anymore. There's other things going on, and those things are pretty good plot-wise and story-wise, in my opinion. So I'm interested to see how it goes. And I don't know if this is going to be a short one, a long one, how they're going to do it. But I'm interested to see what it has in store, because there's obviously more going on with it. We have more going on with the time travel stuff. We have more going on with the second guy, the leader of Tomon, because he's obviously setting this up in the past, but also aware of Takamichi in the future, kind of, because we saw him on the roof when Akun jumped. Anyway, we're going to get back into it. We're going to go straight into it. Remember, support the original content creators by checking this out on Crunchyroll or reading the manga, whatever you guys can to support. And if you enjoy watching us, like, comment, subscribe, check out our Patreon. Go to Discord where you can chat with us about all these different animes. Yell at me in the comments and tell me I'm an idiot. All equally viable options. I like how he's standing in the center like a neutral party, but they're gonna they're gonna just include him with Toman because he's near him. Guilty by association kind of stuff. Oh no, they're doing circle fights. Okay, I thought they were just gonna beat the shit out of everybody and jump. But it looks like they're circling up. No, 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 they're looking to jump. Uh, drugs. He's getting punched in the face. Yeah. Why is he never... Why is he never ready for this? Yeah, I was gonna say he looked like he had gotten he was getting cocked oh, clocked in the face a couple times. But that might be his style. Boxers are weak against kicks. But if this guy can't kick, he's gonna be in trouble. But it's his fight. He decides when it's done for. Oh, he's done for, though. Did he look away long enough? No, he goes down. They caught him. Now it's Mikey's turn. Now he's gonna fuck him up, watch. Ah. Why? Weak to kicks, remember what I said earlier? Boxers are not usually prepared to fight against kicks. Street fighters are a little better, but a straight boxer? That's literally not in the, the the manual. Intimidation's huge. Respect is huge. Damn, my hey! Everybody just dumbfounded. I'm. Is Takamichi weighing attention? He's supposed to be a bodyguard. He doesn't die today, according to the thing. 
Pachin? Oh no, he blocked it and got it. That's a lot of blood from his mouth, though. So what else happens? This has more episode. We're not even halfway through. That's how Toman got bigger. Someone called the cops. This is where the inner fight comes from Toman. The issue isn't even necessarily that he stabbed him, but he stabbed him when he was done for already. And he didn't win the fight. He didn't have the, the respect to do that. He wasn't in a position where he should have done that. Uh, this little dude. He also got punched a lot. Yeah, he and that in sheep, and he got beat up. I literally why I didn't I didn't really get that but it kind of made sense but not really how's he supposed to know he's been passed the about It was a good way to diffuse the tension, but they had just built it up. I think it would have been cool to keep it running because now we don't know what's going down. They also did it off screen, which was smart. How hurt is he? What the f are you doing? Oh my god, bro. What What's wrong with you? Is your leg broken? By who and why? I'd, I'm not happy with him right now on this stupid shit. These motherfuckers sh wouldn't even know. Damn! Oh shit, he's a real- I forgot, they're real ones. At least it shouldn't anymore, maybe they still do. Well, yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the easiest part of that puzzle. I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah, oh my god. Oh no. Is he the trigger? He can't be. <laughs> I 
<laughs> They're still fighting like friends though. He just got out of the hospital, bro. No. He's gonna throw a bike. <laughs> no! Damn, he's strong, too. My memories! <laughs> They're gonna destroy his history. <laughs> it's literally just destroying all his shit. <laughs> That's not very delinquent code of you guys. And then he wakes up in the hospital. Oh, they're going to leave us on that? All right. That was really good. I thought, that, man, they do the writing really well, right? Where it's like something goes down exactly like you thought it was. And then you get something unexpected that leads into right what you knew was going to happen. And it's really a good way of tricking the expectation factor while not, like, messing it up, right? Like, you've told them this is going to happen unless something changes it right like um the fight the fight in the split right is a big example of that where it's like okay this is going to happen but the way we think it may or may not happen is not necessarily how it goes down right it's not necessarily because of the fight with mobius it is but it's the actions of someone on their side during the fight not necessarily the actions on somebody else right from mobius or something Anyway, I, I thought it was really great. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. And, uh, of course, I'll see you next time on Reactions with the next Tokyo Revengers. Remember, support the original content creators. And uh, if you liked it, comment, subscribe, like, you know, check out the Patreon, check out the Discord. All the links are in the description below. And, uh, yeah, I always enjoy talking with people about this stuff. Hope you guys have a great day. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.